What to do, y'all? She girl makeup and travel. And for today's video, <laughs> as you can see by the title, your girl was bad. I told you guys in the month of July, I just the dam to the world just broke. I I did some damage. I will explain. Um, but if you're interested in seeing all of the new things that I got in the month of July. Let's get to it. So in this haul, I have a Beautylish order. I have two Sephora orders, two Ulta orders. I have a plethora of indie brands as well. Um, I'm gonna try and make this not too quick. Hopefully, cross your fingers. A lot of these products I have either already tested out or I'm in the middle of testing out. If I already have a video up, I will link it down below. Um, and I will be doing like roundups for some of these products. So just, just wait on it. Okay, so the one product that opened the dam, if you will, was the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I already have three videos up, two videos up on this palette. I know I have a first impressions and I also have a three looks one palette and review, so two videos. Um, I ended up buying this with my Beautylish gift card that I have had for like almost a year. So I went ahead and got this and then I realized that I needed some more things. So I went ahead and used Ulta points and I used Sephora points and then I got a gift card from a friend for Ulta. It just spiraled. Okay, so I actually already took some of these items out because I already have started to test them. So, or I already know my opinions on them. So I can run through kind of and tell you guys, but yeah, anyways. Okay, so I got my first two cream products from ColourPop. I got a stick light and a blush light. Um, the blush light is in mic drop and the stick light is in acting up. Like I said, I will do swatches so I don't want to do, I'll, I'll do a video so I don't want to do swatches in this one. This is going to be too long of a video. Um, I also got, <laughs> if you saw a video where I attempted to put lashes on and there were no, there was no lash glue. So there is an update you know how i thought that like <laughs> there was lash glue in here and i just gave a friend the lash glue let's turn my autofocus on for this one can you guys read it says adhesive sold separately i just i don't understand why they would do that to anybody that's just cruel and unusual punishment Anyways, I went ahead and got a lash glue from Kiss. I got the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe and Clear. Um, take it with a grain of salt because your girl still doesn't know how to do lashes. I still, I've low-key kind of given up. But the couple of times that I did use it, it seemed like it worked fine. I think this is a good lash glue for people who are beginners or halfway intermediates because like it doesn't matter if I put way too much glue on when it dries it's gonna dry clear so I do like it how often I'm gonna use it is extremely debatable okay um something that I am low-key irritated at myself for getting I got the lime crime fickle freckle pin I got this in the darkest shade I don't know what it is cocoa <laughs> This ain't dark enough, sis. I put this on my face a couple of times and it like blended in basically. Now granted, I've been using pretty much exclusively my summer shade in foundation, which is my Fenty 470. I am almost done with this foundation. Um, and it just blended in. Maybe in my other shade, like my normal shade where I'm not as tan, it wouldn't blend in, it would actually uh, stand out more, but I need a freckle product that's gonna stand out all year around. Okie dokie. I also got, can we, can, why are we pretending like I'm cool? Um, I also got a mascara, a brown mascara. I needed this. I did not have any other brown mascara. I have a wax that I've been using in my e.l.f. kit, um, but I like to have um, gels like this. It's a decent enough gel. I'm not very picky about my brows. I just need something to kind of hold these puppies in place. I also went ahead 
and bought another flower beauty balm blush balm and this one is in the shade shade cinnamon this pretty much blends into my skin it does show up but it's a very very slight so yeah another blush liquid blush that i got that basically does not show up is from milani this is in cheeky coral i thought it was going to be a really nice bright coral as the packaging shows it's not it literally is liquid and it does not there, there's no color that shows up on my complexion at all even when i just apply it with my hands i've tried applying with my hands my um sponge and a brush and either way it just does not work and i've tried it on my shimmer so i tried this on both my summer and my normal foundation shades and it just it blended in it didn't do good i don't know i might finesse and try and use this as a liquid highlighter because it basically doesn't show up anything and it just be a nice sticky base otherwise I have a best friend and her mom who are definitely lighter than me and they love getting products from me so I can send it to her and she can decide whether her or her mom gets it. I also got a cloud paint from Glossier. I got this in the shade Dawn. I love this product. I don't need very much. I can actually use my fingers and just stipple this into my foundation or over powder or right onto my foundation and it works really nicely. Um, I have another shade which you guys will be seeing later but I haven't tested that shade out as extensively as I've tested this one out. I also went ahead and got an eyeshadow base um, because I wanted to. I don't need it. I have bases but I wanted one. I don't have one this color though so I can rationalize it that way why so i went ahead and used it and this is in i believe her darkest shade it's e and i like it i like this base i think it's a very good alternative to p louise which is a brand that i don't support um and it has a very similar formula as my no make cosmetics eyeshadow primer which is a very similar formula to urban decay's whatever primer i don't remember what the name is but yeah really good um primer and this is a black owned brand which reminds me this brow gel is from uma beauty and that's another black owned brand so the next product um that i've tested out is the fenty beauty cream bronzer i got this in the shade 06 chocolate and um i have tested this out on both my darkest shade and my normal shade foundation wise and this is a really good product i prefer to use this with my sponge i don't like to put my hand in this product but i think it's nice um and i will continue to use it what are you playing with okay so the rest of the products that i have fully tested out are all powder bronzers so two bronzers that i already talked to you guys about i already did one video i just haven't done my review I'm working on it. I have a lot of bronzers, so I'm thinking about doing a bronzer week where it's just a video every day all about bronzers. Anyways, I got two bronzers from Minted Cosmetics. The first one is in Yacht Life, and the second one is in, come on, Out of Office. I will have my video for both of the, for this, these two products linked down below for you guys. It is a first impression if I'm correct. Um, and yeah, really? I will have both of those, I will have the video for both of those products linked down below for you guys. I also tested out my Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer and this is in the shade In Robe and this is the only uh, Revolution bronzer that was available and still in stock on Ulta Beauty. There are a couple other I want to try but they're just not available right now. They're out of stock. This one is beautiful. I've tried it once again on both my summer foundation shade and my normal foundation shade and I think this works beautifully. Really enjoy the formula. I had no problem with it at all. Next I have another bronzer like I said and this is from Zoeva and this is in Lumi 06. This is an interesting bronzer. So this one has both a matte and like a highlighter or shimmery side and when you blend it together which is what I naturally do because who would bother separating the two products it actually gives you a really nice sheen and glowy bronzer. I actually do enjoy this and it does show up on my summer shade and of course my um normal shade so yeah i like this bronzer i would recommend it 
Last thing that I have fully tested out and have my opinions on is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in 04, which I believe is her darkest shade right now. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Everybody's talked about it. I don't have to say too much about it. I love it. I was thoroughly impressed with how deep it actually applied on me. And I know watching one of my favorite YouTubers, <sighs> Pollock, what is her first name? I can't think of it for Amber, Amber Pollock. Um, watching her, she actually has the two shades. So she actually has 03 and 04. So I would be intrigued to see 03. I don't know if I'm ever gonna buy it because this is not a cheap bronzer by any means. I do like that it is refillable, but like I said, it's not a cheap bronzer. And I, I need to slow down, you know? Okay, so let me put all of these back. Like I said, I will be doing a roundup for you guys. Um, so just stay tuned. And all the bronzer products, I will be doing a separate, at least minimum a week. I have probably enough bronzers to roll me through like two weeks of videos, but that might be a little bit much. Okay, then I have my next box. Um, and this box has some of the older products that I just haven't fully fully gotten my opinions on. I have a setting spray from Beauty Bakery. I got this prior to finding this setting spray in my car so I didn't know I had it. It's been a whole thing. Anyways, I'm excited to try this. I actually haven't tried this at all yet. Oh, 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 oh. There's a scent. There's a scent to that. I feel nice and cool now because I was starting to get a little hot. Um, the mist was a little jank, but I think that was just because that was the first time I, I tried it. So I will be testing this out more and giving you guys my full thoughts on it. Probably a lot of this will be like a full face of reviews, but the problem is I don't have enough to do an actual face because I specifically bought very similar products because these are the products that I'm just really into right now. Like I said, I got another cloud paint and I got this in the shade Storm. And this is like a maroony shade. I am sure I'm gonna enjoy this, um, but I just haven't gotten around to testing it out yet because I have a halfway similar shade already. I'm intrigued to try it and see if it really is similar to the shade that I already have from Flower Beauty. Um, if so, I'll probably still keep it, who cares? But I just, I would like to know. I got a concealer from Judy's Place. I've tried this once or twice, but not enough I feel like to really have my full thoughts. And I have this in the shade six. I think this is in shade six. I did not realize how dark this concealer is. This is actually a really dark concealer. It's pretty much the same shade as my summer foundation shade. So take that as you will. Um, it's too dark. Like I, I, during the rest of the year, I'm probably gonna have to use this as like a cream bronzer or something because th there will literally no other way for me to get any use out of this um, other than the summer. And I don't tend to actually tan a lot because I don't tend to be out but this summer I've just been working out a lot so that's why I'm so dark again um but regardless I think it's a nice concealer so far it does feel like it's full coverage and I'm not a huge fan of full coverage but that that was my fault for even buying it to be honest but I wanted to really have a black owned concealer and I heard great things about that concealer Okay, I also, we're just going to just get rid of the packaging. I got a cream blush from Fenty, and I got this in Dakar, Di, Di, wow, Daiquiri Drip, Daiquiri Dip, sorry, not Drip. Um, and I haven't tried this at all yet. It's just a really bright orangey coral blush. Very excited to try this. I think this is going to be another, like, use two fingers and pat on my skin. But when I try it, I will let you guys know. I also, this was one of my last Sephora orders. That's why all this stuff is in packaging and I really haven't had the time to test it out because of that. But don't you worry, I will. Next, I went ahead and purchased a Patrick Ta blush in Do We Know Her. I'm ecstatic to try this formula out. I am, I'm not gonna hold you up, slightly concerned because this powder looks really, really light. 
but seeing all the demonstrations it looks like the combination of the two products is really going to work and even then it looks like the blush is not as light on people's complexion as it appears on here um i could have actually used this today i didn't actually put on any blush i might try this actually right after i finish this but um i'm just really excited i hear so many good things it looks beautiful watching people swatch watching people apply it and i just I had to try one and I felt like this would be unique to both my blush and my cream blush um, range or collection if you will because I don't have a range I only have a collection of course I got another bronzer I got jealous seeing um, a youtuber that I watch having this bronzer I was like oh thank you let me get this so this is the Kosas bronzer in deep and I am thoroughly surprised that this is as deep as it is. I'm thoroughly surprised. This is very slight sh when it shows up on my 470 Fenty bronzer or Fenty foundation shade, which is my summer shade. It will definitely show up on my normal complexion shade. So I'm thoroughly excited for that, but it is a, it barely shows up right now. I went ahead and picked up another bronzer. This one was from an indie brand. I saw Amy Hart's makeup do a video. It reminded me of this brand. She had talked about them earlier, but I just never got around to purchasing from them. And this is Clove and Hollow. And I have the bronzer in the shade Bora Bora. I'm pretty sure this is their darkest bronzer. It looks I have have I tried this I have tried this this is basically non-existent on my Fenty foundation like non-existent at all but I'm betting 90% that this will definitely show up on my normal foundation shade I just have not tested it out yet so that's why I'm not fully ready to give you guys my thoughts I do want to try some more um, things from this brand they have a cream blush that I wanted to try I just didn't see it on the website when I was ordering this product um, also just to give you guys a heads up you can just buy the bronzer pan by itself if you just click buying the powder the powder bronzer you will not get this packaging you have to actually add the packaging to the order to get it and they both come separately just like ColourPop did I don't know if ColourPop still gives you the packaging anymore and just like ColourPop, I just took the pan shade off the back of the actual pan and put it on the back of the compact so I'd know which shade the product was. Okay, I also got a Morphe bronzer and this is in the shade Leader. This is in their new bronzer range, which is they called it the Glamour Bronze. Um, I wanted to test this out and see if this was a dupe or very similar or the same thing to the other bronzer that I have from them. And I do not think so. Just from swatching and just looking at the actual pans, this looks a lot warmer and redder undertone than the other bronzer that I have from them. So definitely excited. I don't believe I've actually tried this on my complexion yet, but as you can see, I bought a lot of bronzers and I've been testing them out on both my 470 uh, Fenty shade and my normal shade just to see if they'll work for me both during summer and winter and spring and all that jazz or just during the other seasons and not during summer urker 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 i also got a mini melt mini milk cheek blush in the shade quirk i am excited this is a formula that I've heard a lot, a lot about. This is another kind of maroony situation. Um, and I thought this was going to be a little bit less maroony, but I don't care. I'm excited to try this formula. I hear great things about the formula. I want to try it out and I'll give you guys my opinions. And I like how I got a small size because I got so many cream blushes in this a round of purchasing if you will that I don't need full sizes for all of them and their full sizes are just insane I just I don't I don't need it at all um, I also went ahead thanks to Karen Harris again and I bought a tower 28 cream blush in the shade beach please I haven't even swatched this because I'm just so in awe with the fact that I was able to get it 
Why, why can I not open this? There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is like another kind of really bright pinky coral shade. I'm excited to try this out, see how it applies. I hear and see nothing but good things for this product and this brand overall. I'm excited to try it out. I was going to throw in their bronzer, their cream bronzer to this order, but I just, I was unconvinced. I was unconvinced because my friend Karen Harris can use both the middle shade and the darker shade and I just feel like if she can use both shades that means the shade ain't gonna work on me so yeah all right we're kind of halfway getting there these are the last two items in that box <laughs> then I got the Sephora bronzed bronzer and this is in the shade Ibiza I remember buying a Sephora bronzer before and it not working but once again Amber Pollock was shouting this bronzer out saying that people were not giving it any clout and I decided to give her some clout okay so we will see if it works on me, if it doesn't work on me, I will be trusting it out. As with all the other bronzers on both my summer complexion, my summer foundation shade, and my normal foundation shade. And I will let you guys know whenever I get around to testing it out. And then the last bronzer that I got in that order, I got the Jouer Bronzer Duo. And I got this in Deep to Dark Bronzer Duo. This has Sun Glow and Sun Gaze. I just, I had to have this. I had to have this. Um, my friend, well not my friend, I don't know her. I didn't talk to her really. But what YouTuber that I follow, something by Olympia, Ophelia by, uh, Aphrodite by Ophelia. Um, she raved about this product so i wanted to give it a try and she is like near my foundation shade not exactly my shade but near my foundation shade so i'm excited to try this out um i've always wanted to try out jouet i have a powder from them that my friend oh so many friends that my friend um what did she change her name to? Beauty and Monolids. I don't know if she's posted a YouTube video lately, but she's been very active on her Instagram. She gave me a powder from this brand and I use that actually as a bronzer. So I'm excited to try these two actual powder bronzers and see how I enjoy them. Okay, so the last kind of collection of things I'm gonna be talking about, I got from Ulta. This was my second and last order from them in the month. And I know it's not nearly as, as much um, makeup, but I did get some products. Oh, which reminds me, I need to get two more things really quickly. Hold on. So I almost forgot to shout this brand out in my haul. And this is from Black Sunflower. I got two candles from them. I told, showed you guys these candles in my most recent must have must gag. This one is in all that jazz. This one has definitely grown on me. It was not my favorite smell by any means when I first opened up the package, but it has grown on me. And it's also not too pungent. Like it's actually, kind of very subtle and then the other one is in strawberry and cream this is obviously my favorite it looks aesthetically just pleasing and it smells divine divine oh dear lord i almost dropped them okay so like i said also order last order i think this is all all the stuff oh no it's not so i also made an order to a black owned skincare brand let me see if I can figure out the name. The skincare brand is Nola Skin Essentials. They, or Nola Skin Essentials, sorry. They just shipped my order. It's taken them a little while. Granted, a lot of black owned brands have been really just being pushed right now. So I get it, I'm not hurt at all. And the only thing is that I'm I just ran out of my moisturizer so your girl's gonna run to foil packets until I get those products because I did put a moisturizer in that order. I also did get a couple of black owned masks. One actually, not a couple. I only bought one because the other brands that I wanted, they were out of stock or I just was not into the styles that were available. 
we're, we're gonna go to this last order and I'm gonna stop talking. But for that skincare brand, that order, I will be doing a dedicated review on all of the skincare. So that's why I'm not really pressed to wait for them. Okay, so I use um, natural deodorant and Sephora, or Ulta carries the brand that I use. I use Schmitz. So I went ahead and picked up two deodorants because I opened up my last backup. Um, and I like to have some backups because natural deodorants can be deceptive you can go through them really quickly especially in the summer because like the deodorant kind of like low-key melts anyway so i had to get those i got another bronzer this is a bronzer that i bad mouth i'm not gonna hold you up i bad mouth this on both my must have mascara and actually on Instagram I didn't think that this was dark enough and then I think I saw somebody swatch this and it looked dark enough and seeing it in person it looks kind of deep okay this is the Nabla Cosmetics skin bronzing sun kiss effect bronzing powder and profile this is what Mel was talking about yeah that's not the best name ever anyways this is the bronzer shade I'm interested to see what it'll apply and how it apply I feel like out of all the bronzers that I bought recently this will be the one where I'll have to really take into consideration the brush type that I use to pick up those products this is kind of like a bait chile formula um I'm interested to try this out I wanted to try out their blushes in this range but I just never got around to it and I could not justify picking up the blush that I originally wanted because I have a blush that is the exact same shade this is discontinued i just realized this was discontinued and i've been using this religiously my bad but this laura geller um baked gelato blush that i use almost every day um this is a uh, gelé formula and it also is the same basically the same shade of blush that i'd want from this nabla range so we'll see and i low-key killed all of my Ulta points with all of these orders that I made so I probably won't be making an order from Ulta for a minute um at least definitely not until after my no buy I have enough new products I'm enjoying using my old eyeshadow and I like adding all of these new kind of cheap products to my range I loved my one Colourpop cream blush so much that I went ahead and picked up another shade and this one is more is more I'm excited I'm pretty sure this is going to be unique even to all the new cream blushes that I got and this one looks that it has a slight shimmer to it so I'm excited to try this one out and then the last two things the last two things that I want to haul are both from a black owned hair company that Ulta carries and I needed a shampoo and a conditioner I'm running low it probably is the probably the shampoo I don't know I'm like the worst when it comes to taking care of my hair the actual worst my hair gets the actual bottom barrel treatment and I'm always complaining about why it hasn't grown and I'm like sis you're giving it the bottom barrel treatment what did you expect anyways so I wanted to try out this brand um but also support this black owned brand and I mean I had to this is this is my girl from girlfriends so I want to smell it and then I'll, of course I can't smell it because it's a bloody cover on it I hate these things I can never So it smells nice and cleansing, but it smells like a lemony orangey type situation. So the brand is Pattern. This is the clarifying shampoo. I need clarifying because my scalp is just been on 10 lately. And so if I can find something that's really just gonna deep condition it and just really get in there, your girl is doing that because I can't let products sit on my scalp as much as I used to. 
it's probably just God getting me back for all the years that I would wash my hair once a month. It's okay. I'll suffer. I'll wash my hair twice a week, you know. Ooh, that got lipstick all over it. I clearly want this stuff in my mouth. This has like the same kind of thing. It's a very faint orangey lemony smell. And this one is the intense conditioner for tight textures. So I figured this would be good. I did not realize the discrepancy in size of these products because I'm not gonna use nearly as much conditioner as I am gonna use shampoo, but I'm pretty sure there is a bigger size of this shampoo. I just got this small size because I wanted to test it out and I'm pretty sure I got the smallest size of this. Regardless, um, my hair, as you can see, is a tight texture, especially when I don't do it at night, it, it shrinks. So I'm excited to try this brand, um, which actually is black owned. There's so many black owned hair brands that aren't black owned anymore and I'm just over it. So I'm happy to try this brand. Hopefully it's good. If it's good, I will definitely keep buying from her, trying the rest of her range. I know Kinky Sweat already did a whole review on her range, but Kinky Sweat has a different tech hair curl pattern than I do. I'm 4C. I feel like Kinky Sweat is like 3B or so. So the way that these are going to work on her hair texture, let alone her skin tone or skin she's not oily like I am so it's just different okay anyways this is paraben free free of SLS and SLES color safe free of slight cyclic silicones phthalate free and formaldehyde free they put formaldehyde in hair products that's interesting okay so I feel like this is just these are some things that are really gonna work for me. They both say that they're great for curly, coily, and tight textures, or tight textures just in general. So I feel like this is gonna be honestly just perfect for my hair. I'm really actually excited to try these products, and I'm never excited to hair, try hair products. Never. I'm trying to get rid of all the hair products that I have. Because I get a lot because like my mom loves to like try new products and then I become the guinea pig and then I say oh yeah I enjoyed it and then she buys it for me and I'm like oh now I have to use it joy so that was a long video but I wanted to show you guys all of the things that I thought was prudent enough to spend my money on in the month of July. I, I spent a lot, okay? A lot. Between all of these purchases, then my normal bills and stuff, your girl is tapped out for a minute. Tapped out. I am happy that I'm still able to continue saving while spending these money, paying my bills, all that stuff. So I'm still on the road to saving what I wanted to save. I'm thoroughly excited about that thoroughly um and i will hopefully cross your fingers we'll see i will link all of the items that i hold today down below i think it really helps you guys please let me know if it does if it doesn't let me know too because i can save that like 30 minutes that it takes me to fill out that description box because it ain't easy sis it ain't easy um i never said did i i don't think i ever said what's on my face i didn't record it it's just my modern renaissance on my eyes um mac lip intensity toast and butter normal 470 foundation from fenty and then i put a highlighter on from my aurora palette i actually combined two different shades i combined the purple and the orange which you can't see because my camera is blowing it out great so that's all the stuff that's on my face like i said comment down below if there is anything in particular that i have shown you guys in this video that you want me to give you a review quick fast and in a hurry right now um i will definitely be bringing you guys the review roundup for all the products that i had in the basket relatively soon i just have to actually record it i already know my thoughts on all those products everything else i still haven't gotten my full thoughts on them because i haven't tried them on the variety of foundation shades that i can become or i just haven't tried it at all um 
I also intend to do a roundup of all of my cream products. So do keep an eye out for that if you're interested in seeing all the cream products that are in my collection. Um, what else? What else? Like I said, I end up, I want to do at least a week of bronzer reviews. So if there's a particular bronzer that you want me to put in that, in that week, comment it down below. I will do it. I think that's it. I'm happy that I brought all these products in. I'm happy that I did not bring any eyeshadow palettes in. I'm happy. I am right now. I really just really have been enjoying really focusing on my base, giving my base more love and bringing these products into my collection. I will do that. I also have really been enjoying cream products. They just bring a different look. They bring more hydration, more glowy kind of skin like finish and i've just been enjoying that i haven't been reaching for a lot of my more matte powders that i were a couple of months ago to a year ago at this point so that's pretty much it i'm gonna stop blabbering i've been talking for a minute i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I